welcome back to my channel and get ready for another taste test. So this is going to be a little bit different from the other taste tests that I've done. Today I'm taste testing only candy. And this candy is all coming from a place called the Candy Club. It's a monthly subscription of candy. This is what it looks like. Nice little big fat box. And you, it's like curated for like your taste and stuff. Now, I didn't set this up. My mom did. She kind of surprised me with this. So, I don't really know what's inside the box. I've not tasted any of them. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and try them with you guys. I'm excited. I love candy. I don't know if you guys like candy as much as I do. But, I have the biggest sweet tooth. And, I'm excited to dig into whatever's in here. So, it's already been opened because she wanted to see, you know, what it looked like. So, this is what it looks like. This is curated just for you. Stay sweet. The candy club team, excuse me. And then it just says, you know, like share my experience and stuff on their social media. And, you know, it says their website. And then you have, which I believe is the actual candy. And it is this container. And I already off the bat love that how it's so big. So... And this says, Better Candy, Bigger Smiles, Candy Club. So, this, it's got like glue on it. Oh, one side wasn't even removed. Um, and it is, wow. Let me see, I want to get all of it in here. You get this little envelope in here. It's like made of like candy or like cookie sheet. And you get... Six containers of candy inside. Wow. I see one is chocolate. And now, I, like I said, I don't think she picked these out because this is curated. Um, but she may have had a little, little bit to do with what was put in here. Okay, so what I see is these are cards for everything that's in here. So as I try one, try each one. I'll pick the card out and I'll read it for you guys. So the first card I see is the Albany's Triple Dipped Milk Malt Milk Balls. Not one, not two, but three sumptuous layers of creamy milk chocolate, envelope crunchy. Or I guess it was the enveloped crunchy malt milk balls. Oh no, they envelope. Okay, I get it now. I just can't read. Okay, so let's start this over. So you guys get the full experience. Not one, not two, but three sumptuous layers of creamy milk chocolate envelope crunchy malted milk balls to create these distinctively toothsome treats. I don't know if I like the word toothsome. That kind of scared me for a second. Oh, okay. So this is the front with everything that I just read to you in a little picture of the actual candy. And then the back has nutrition facts. So that's fun. That was really a little good thing to do you know so if you're worried about what you're putting in here if you you know it's not gluten i wonder if that's what i'm smelling because there's like a like a yogurty smell coming from it it's not bad because i don't think any of this is really gonna be affected by that smell but um of course the candy is sealed oh, i thought i needed my exacto knife but there's a perforated line so i can just rip this off Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to try the Albany's Triple Dipped Malt Milk Ball first. Let's see again. They smell good. I don't really like malt balls, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about this, but I am excited because it says it's triple dipped. Like, oh, all right. So that's what it looks like before I nom nom into it because I'm already ready to bite into it. Uh, mm. This is my kind of milk ball. Because most malt balls, it's like a real thin layer of chocolate. And then you get right to business with that malt ball. This one. It's for somebody like me who just like really likes chocolate. 
and doesn't like mothballs. It, it's 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 creamy. That's on my lip. Okay. The milk chocolate is really creamy. Like that's my I'm loving it. But I like that. Maybe it's a better quality mall ball. I don't know. But I like that it's it's not that weird malty taste, like Whoppers or whatever they're called. But I really think it's because this thing is thick, and I guess it's definitely triple dipped. I don't know. Maybe I thought it was gonna be different kinds of milk chocolate, so you can see different colors. But it's dipped three times. I think it's good. I'm gonna eat the rest of them. When I looked at all of these, I was going to say, I bet you this is going to be the one that I'm not going to eat. And I like all the rest of them. Well, I like this one. Next. Green tea today. I don't really like this, though. I went out earlier and... That's there was a vending machine. I wanted to purchase a peach Lipton tea, and this came out. So, yeah. Okay. So the next one that I'm gonna do, and I guess these are in. I'm just gonna take them out in the order that they're in in the envelope. Um, they're in kind of the same order too, but this is the Dorval Sour Power Cotton Candy Belts. Ooh, cotton candy. No need to go to the carnival for cotton candy. You can get that same sweet and fluffy taste in a sour belt. Delicious cotton candy flavor with a fun sour kick. This is gonna be probably my favorite. I love not so much sour candy, but I love the belts. I love fruity gummy candy, so I'm ready to pull this open. I think my mom did try this because there's no thing on it. These look like they may be reusable if you clean them out because they're made of plastic. That's what the containers look like. They say the same thing that the sticker says on the front. And they smell. They smell sweet. They smell like um Like some type of fruity. I feel like it's maybe like a strawberry-ish. Doesn't really smell like cotton candy. Yeah, come on there. But yeah, I love this. I'm getting bubblegum vibes. I'm not getting cotton candy vibes. I guess. Oh, it is sour though. Ooh. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is I, this is a good representation of cotton candy, but maybe like a bubble gum or like a fruit. Yeah, I'm really getting like a little dash of bubble gum in there. Either way is good. And it's not a lot of bubble gum because I really do not like bubblegum flavored candy or like bubblegum flavored things if it's not bubble gum. Like the dum dums that are flavored bubble gum. No. I don't want bubble gum flavored soda and stuff like that. This is like as much as bubblegum flavored anything should taste like bubblegum. And I'm just going to finish it all right now. It's definitely got a sour kick. For some candy belts that you you try, they'll have like the little little sugar on them, but they're not they're not sour. They they claim to be sour, but they're not. When I worked at the airport, there was a candy store there, and they had belts 
that I don't think they were advertised as sour because they weren't. But they were still good, like I said. You know, these these are more sour. They're not as sour as I I get from like, you know. I don't know, because if you think about like Sour Patch Kids, are Sour Patch Kids really sour unless you get like a red, I mean like a a yellow or a green. So, yeah. But yes, the Sour Belts, the Cotton Candy Belts, not so much cotton candy, but so much good. Next candy. Okay, so the next candy is Sweets Lemonade Rings non-gmo oh my gosh they're different colors i just noticed that Ooh. all right so ring in a new era of deliciousness with these non-gmo gummies featuring classic strawberry and pomegranate lemonade flavors their uniquely delicious taste and texture will keep you coming back oh pomegranate lemonade though I don't think I've ever heard of that. This one's open too. My husband's sleeping right here. Or else I'd ask him if he had a part in this. Are, they, are all of them open? They're all open. Well, at least I didn't try them. I thought that... This is still fun, y'all. I just thought I was going to be cutting open some more, but I'm glad they didn't tell me what they taste like or anything because this is something I waited to do. Um, I, this candy has actually been here for maybe a week or so, but uh, I live in Florida. We had Hurricane Irma come visit us for a little bit, and I was focusing on filming that experience as well as when the aftermath of, you know, the storm and I didn't have power came, I was also focused on reserving my power and it really wasn't like gonna be something that I was thinking about like, oh, you know, my power's out, let me go sit in the living room or, you know, let me go set up shop and, and film this video about this candy. So I, I did wait to do it, so I guess they couldn't wait to try it. I'm glad I did for you guys. So yeah, back to these. Ooh, it smells like alcohol. Ooh, wow, yeah, it really does. And I'm also getting those um those little Kool-Aid jammer drinks. The ones like you put in your little lunch. That's what they smell like. But it's really a really pretty assortment. I didn't really show y'all what the, the little candy belt looked like, so my bad, but that's what these look like. I don't know if you can really see. But there's different colors, like that's classic pomegranate and I believe this is strawberry lemonade so and I'm gonna try them all so we'll start with classic okay so it's not meant to be sour mmm That is what I'm talking about. This is a gummy. This thing is working my jaw. But that's what I call a gummy, honey. That thing, I thought it was going to be more of like, sorry if I got something too. Um, like gummy worms or gummy bears, some gummy bears, because some gummy bears you can chew right through. But this is more of like a fruit snack, like it's like a soft gummy type texture, and I like that. I don't like lemon, so of course I'm not gonna like lemonade flavored anything, candy wise, because I love me some lemonade. But yeah, so that one was, you know, I already knew I would probably feel the way I feel about it, and it's okay. It's a really good texture, though. So now I'm gonna try pomegranate. This is the darkest color. Mmm. I'm 
I'm trying to like utilize all my teeth because it's gonna get stuck over here and I'm gonna be trying to pull it all out in this one area. But okay. it's sticking everywhere. I, I'm having a hard time. Well, I like the pomegranate one. I'm not really sure how artificial pomegranate is supposed to taste. Um, I don't see anything that would specifically tell me that there's pomegranate in it. But I got more like grapey. A grapey berry-ish. Still good. Felt the flavor. Like I could taste it as soon as I put that bad boy in my mouth. So now I'm going to try this strawberry lemonade. Yeah, strawberry. It's a lot like pinker. And it's got a heck of a lot of sugar on it. Jeez Louise. Let me get back up on that. Y'all see all of that sugar? Like... Especially when you turn this way, you're just like, man, that may be a little too much. Now, I have a sweet tooth. If you have a sweet tooth like me, you probably gonna eat one. But, me, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. This is what I does. I eat candy. I may not have any teeth by the time I'm 40. But who cares? I'm here for a good time. Well, my teeth are here for a good time, not a long time. I'm going to regret those words. In a way, I feel like that one was the softest. And this one. Definitely tastes like strawberry lemonade. Like, any other strawberry lemonade candy I've had, this tastes just like it. Very nice. It's light taste, too. All you need is one of these. If you really don't... When I sit there... With these whole things in your mouth all day, you need one. I can imagine eating this whole thing in one setting. That was a lot. Now my jaw don't hurt nothing, but I'm just like, damn, this is like this is a gummy. This ain't no tiny thing either. It's a big old chewy gummy thick old mess. So I need to straighten my again because of that yeah that was good in a sense it was a lot of gummy but it was good I one is in competition now with the candy belts they are in a tie right now to see which one is my favorite and while that's going on, let's move on to the next candy. Okay. This is Promotion in Motion Sour Jacks Watermelon. Oh! I'm familiar with these. Excuse me. These soft and chewy wedge shaped gummies pack an intense sour watermelon punch. Sweet, tart, and tasty. We dare you to try to stop after just one. Uh, I've gone through a whole bag. You ain't got to dare me nothing. If anything, we can collaborate and I could give y'all a crash course on how to fit maybe the whole or half the bag in your mouth at one time. But, yeah, I've had these before. These are... I assume every single one, since the the way the names are, they have, like, the little R 
I'm assuming that all of them are branded and they're not candy club like original candies but yeah if, ah, just lost one what does it look like there's little watermelon wedges this one's, I feel like it's the heaviest but yeah like I was saying before about sour jacks or sour is this a sour jack? sour patch They don't really taste that sour. These don't. But I think it's because there's a smaller amount of. Let's see if I can get that focused. Focus on me. It doesn't want to cooperate. But yeah. There's a, a, a smaller granulated texture. I know what I'm talking about. The sour stuff just looks a lot smaller and it looks like there's a lot less on here. This thing does not want to focus on anything but me. Listen, try one more time. One more time. But yeah, you can kind of get the idea. The other ones, the sour belts, I feel like that's like genuine sour, whatever, sour sprinkles. Because like a little bit sour but I'm not like or anything but nonetheless they're good these are a little bit rougher or I feel like the only way I can say it is rougher but these are not as soft as these I'm not saying they're supposed to be but these are a lot softer these give you a little, you still have to kind of like bite through them a little. It's still good. Next candy. And this one is Just Born Teeny Beanies Blueberry Cobbler. Get into the blues. Oh, I can't read. Get into the blues. what I'm saying getting the blues never tastes so good tasted I don't know if that's tasted or tasted taste 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 anyways these tiny jelly beans are filled with sweet deep blueberry flavor for a delicious take on the classic dessert I don't know if I like blueberry cobbler but I do like me a jelly bean every now and again Hope they didn't come a little hot in here. Yeah, I like this. This is what I like about these. That no, you know. Oh, what's this? Hmm, a little extra candy in here. Hmm. This one's. I'll get back to that. But I like that. This is. I guess this is a pint. It, I feel like this is a pint. It looks like one because it reminds me like a Ben and Jerry's. But I like that, you know, depending on what candy you get, you will get a little container full of candy. These, you know, other ones, the, uh, the belts and the mall balls may be not too beneficial as far as, you know, this. Because they're a little bit bigger or, you know, they take up more space. But this, I love this. I love this. Sorry, I heard somebody honk their horn. Oh, you're being nosy. All right, now let's try this uh, blueberry cobbler. They're spotted. I thought that was just one of them. It's a little dinosaur egg. All right. Tastes a whole bunch of blueberry. Not really feeling like it's in a pie. This is weird. This one kind of tastes like cotton candy. These are from a company called Just Born. They remind me of Jelly Belly. And just for the record, they're not tiny. I don't know what their idea. Like maybe this one's a little tiny. This one's smaller than the one that I ate first. 
but these aren't tiny jelly beans. This is like a standard jelly bean size. Not that I'm mad, because you have filled this whole thing up with them. Thank you. But, yeah. I like that because that tastes like a blueberry jelly bean. I don't like it. I don't think I would like it if it had like any artificial like crust flavor or whatever to put in. And I feel like when they try to imitate the flavor of crust, they use like maple hazelnut or like things like that like a simple ass vanilla so it's like you know you don't have to do that you don't have to do that but yeah i don't have a new favorite um still a tie between the rings and the belts but this one was good now i'm gonna go to the next one Oh, okay, so this is the last one. I'm over here like, wait, am I missing a card? Thought I had more containers than I did, y'all. So for the final container, we will be trying Vidal Grape Gummy Drops. Squishy and sweet, these precious purple gumdrops are positively popping with potent grape flavor. Get the gang together and enjoy a bunch of these little delights. That's cute they look cute I thought they were like raspberry something maybe like raspberry cream because they're not they're like red maybe that's just the picture but yeah they don't look very purple to me um yeah they don't look very purple smells like grape though definitely smells like artificial grape and this one is also sprinkled with a smaller size of granulated sugar or whatever it's supposed to be. But see, it's like pink. It doesn't really look like it would be grape. It looks more like it would be like a strawberry or a tongue. Doesn't it look like a tongue? Yeah. It looks like a tongue. I right, will since I already put it, you know, in my mouth. Let's try it. Oh, fluffy like a marshmallow. That tastes so familiar, but I cannot put my freaking hand on it. But they're good. Oh. This tastes like a pixie stick. That's what it is. It tastes like a great pixie stick. It's got a good texture. I like that. I was sitting there for a second like, that tastes old school. What am I eating? What am I eating? But yeah. That tastes, this honestly tastes like they took one of those because it's like a really fluffy texture like a marshmallow but it's candy so it tastes like they took those um those krabby patty like the same texture as the krabby patty gummies and they flavored them with grape no they didn't even have to flavor them with grape because they have the pixie stick so they took the the krabby patty gummies and before they put the color in them it was just like hold up and they took a great pixie stick and they just sprinkled it all over there and rolled it around in it. And then boom. You get the grape drops. But that one was good. Um, at the end of it all, I am going to say... These are my favorite. If I had to take one of these containers and eat them all in one setting, it would be the Sour Belts. Though they did not taste like cotton candy, and they claimed that they were cotton candy, I still like these the best. They were nice and sour. They were chewy, a texture that I love and I'm used to. And I do want to put these in second place because the little lemonade rings, they were. I love the texture of these. It's just, I feel like one is a lot. And for me to say that, Knowing that I would down this in one setting, but I would not, no, I wouldn't want to because I feel like my teeth, my teeth, 
I'm surprised they don't hurt now. But like I said, I does this. So, but yeah, this would be second place. Definitely uh, maybe half a container, maybe one or two in the setting. But the sour belts are my go-to. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hide those. Okay. I'm gonna hook this whole box in where they all don't know. Since he's sleep, she's out there. I'm about to hide this candy, it's all mine. Nobody got to know about the thing. Oh, I almost forgot about this. So I think there was a bunch of these in here. Can't tell you what happened to them. Hurricane Irma. The, all the containers are already open, so we'll go ahead and make assumptions. But this is a little candy, too. I wonder if there's more at the bottom. I didn't even check. We clean the house, y'all. But this is called Atomic. Um, I believe it is a Spanish candy because everything is in Spanish aside from extra sour. Yeah, it's made by a company called Pekin, I guess. P-E-C-C-I-N. And it is the flavor, who, excuse me, Maca Verde, which is, you know, well, I don't know if that's the flavor. It just sounds like it's saying something green. I don't know. But in the corner, it does say it's real flavor. Green apple. And then underneath, manzana verde. So, yeah. That corresponds with the color. Um, I'm not really sure what maca means. I don't know. Um, maybe that's another language. But I am not educated in anything but a little bit of Spanish. So, well, yeah. And the back has a... Oh, it's like a little scale to try to hold it. It goes from week, five seconds, regular, 10 seconds, super 15 seconds with the little thermometer on the back. And all of that. I don't even know if you can see any of that. I can't. But yeah, we'll try it. I'm sure there were more in here if i'm not mistaken but yeah this is the one we're trying sorry guys maybe there'll be more in the next shipment and it's sticky um there's pink stuff coming out the side i don't know if you can see that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put it in my mouth because it's sticky it smells like um like that like waxy candy like typical like candy to get from like the gas station or something that's real sticky wow My husband's waking up. It's a green apple candy. It's simple. I really didn't taste anything coming out of it. Um, so I don't know if the goo may be melted or what. Maybe it's not goo. But yeah, it's not really that sour. I don't like apple candy, so... Mm. I'm just really like tolerating it for you guys. Letting it sit on my tongue because I really don't know if I want to finish it, but. It's like taffy. It's a taffy consistency. It's a little bit, I feel like it's tougher than a laffy taffy, but. It reminds me of a mamba. Or like a high chew. Maybe we've had both. Actually, maybe be a little bit softer though. But yeah, I feel like it reminds me of a mamba. But yeah, that's good. I'm still only done chewing it because I don't really like. I'm not trying to tear this thing up. I don't like apple candy. That's it for the candy taste test. I'm gonna go brush my teeth now and pray to God I don't lose all my teeth overnight. But I want to thank you for watching, and if you like this video, if you want to try any of the candies, let me know. I'll go ahead and leave a link down to the website if you'd like to go ahead and start getting your own candy subscription box from Candy Club. And go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love your faces. Bye!
next taste test where I'll be trying candies from Europe. Bye!